Good evening, everybody. I'm incredibly proud of the Alabama A&M softball program. They are turning things around out there on the hill in a hurry. And like we talked about yesterday, they now have targets on their backs as the SWAT Conference tournament approaches. The A&M softball team looked to avoid the sweep, though, against Jackson State. And throughout the game, the Lady Bulldogs, they were getting hits. Brianna Ziegler gets on base after the Tigers. Second baseman drops the ball. Then Ariel Lawson gets the single to left field. Alabama a and taking advantage at the plate. Then it's Taya McKinnis who finds the gap out in right field. That's a double, but A&M couldn't score any runs late in this one. As for Jackson State, they were able to continue scoring, including this home run. The Lady Bulldogs fall 6-3, but head coach Nakia Hall certainly proud of her girls for battling all weekend long. They did show fight at the end, and that's uh, what I really appreciated about them. Uh, we had a couple innings where we just we went scoreless. Five innings, we went scoreless. You know, we scored early on in the game, and we just didn't keep it going. So it's kind of hard to keep fighting from behind. We're going to be ready for it. I mean, what matters is the number one at the end of the season, and that's what we're going for. We might not, even if we're number one now, that's not near as important as being number one when we go into SWAC, and that's what we're working for. Alabama A&M has eight games left this season before the SWAC tourney begins in Decatur on May the 6th.